Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. Uh, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you so much. Um, so today I want to talk about sertraline. Uh, sertraline is a uh, drug called a serotonin selective reuptake inhibitor, also called an SSRI. It's an extremely popular medication. There, there's a great number of people taking SSRIs and specifically sertraline. Uh, I think it's one of the most popular medications that I dispense. And uh, uh, what it is is it treats um, major depressive disorder. It is a uh, it, it is an effective drug. Um, it's the uh, the clinical study that studied uh, sertraline looked at something called a Hamilton depression scale. And what it what that is is it's a questionnaire given by a clinician, and they gauge the severity of the um, symptoms of depression. And with sertraline, there was a 50% reduction in symptoms of depression, and that's um, that was the you know the proof in efficacy, and that's why we you know now we have the the drug. Um, antidepressants in general are all very similar as far as how effective they are. Uh, you know, there's not one huge, there's not like one standout in effectiveness like um, some other um, some other disease states where you say, oh wow, that's like kind of the drug that everybody takes. Like diabetes, you know, the drug everybody, the, the most important drug in diabetes is insulin. Um, probably probably the, the one that everybody takes um, you know, the oral medication is metformin. Schizophrenia, uh, like clozapine, is kind of a uh, really bad side effects. It has a whole uh, risk reduction um, strategy and everything, but it's very effective. Uh, with, and it, with depression, there's not really any drug that is really stands out. Uh, SSRIs are the most popular because the their side effects are uh, are not as bad as other uh, classes of medications. Just uh, a few things I wanted to say is that, um, like I said, antidepressants are effective. Um, it's they're very controversial because uh, there probably there are too many people taking them, and I think that's uh, probably a result of the uh, of the advertisements. So, and then some of the marketing that has kind of been allowed to go on is a little bit uh, disingenuous. Uh, the concept that depression is a chemical imbalance I think is a little bit disingenuous and more of a marketing ploy because the brain is super complicated. I don't think it's really fair to call depression a chemical imbalance. I mean there's, you, I mean you could really you could say that about anything that's happening in your body. You could say there's not balance. I mean, I think it's uh, it's just it's a very unspecific thing to say, and, and it's disingenuous for, for the to tell the public that. And that's probably why everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are taking their medication. So I think there's probably too many people on antidepressants. Uh, but depression is real. Antidepressants do help with depression. Um, and in general, like psychiatric disorders, uh, you know, there are all of these illnesses uh, that people have, and I think the psychiatric, psychiatric disorders are the ones where, like, it's still kind of okay to, not okay, but it's, the general consensus is still that psychiatric disorders are, like, treated less than other disorders, like, they're, like, okay, well, somebody has this problem with their brain, but you know, it's not as serious as this problem or this problem when it, it when in fact it is extremely serious and uh, the pain that people have from depression or from schizophrenia or, or from these other illnesses can be so bad that um, they, they kill themselves. And um, you know, psychic pain can be even worse than physical pain. And uh, my professor told a story about how uh, uh, he, he was talking to a patient who had lit herself on fire and he asked her, well, what was worse, that or the pain that was going on inside you? And she said, it was, you know, the psychic pain was worse than the actual being burned alive. So, uh, so it's very serious and I think people are kind of dismissive about psychiatric uh, conditions. 
I understand that people are suspicious of psych drugs because uh, probably too many people take them. Um, and then I think the way that medicine is, is it's about cost reduction and cost reduction and outcomes. So if you look at the outcomes, you could say, well, 30 pills of sertraline is 10 bucks. To sit with a clinician for an hour a week is uh, $500. Um, obviously give them the pill, that's the cheaper route. Um, so that's kind of where we are now. Uh, that we're throwing pills at a lot of problems and we're not like paying as much attention to, you know, the kind of, the you know, the benefit that a psychologist could have or, or as somebody who, who's administering, administering cognitive behavioral therapy and stuff like that. So that's my two cents. Um, so the side effects of uh, sertraline aren't as bad as older medications. And one other thing I wanted to say is um, and a, de a depression can be a side effect of drugs. So um, I'll just throw, a, throw up a, a list of some drugs here. Um, beta blockers, clonidine, um, st steroids, uh, corticosteroids, um, cyclosporine, alcohol abuse can cause depression. Um, alcohol is, in a solu is not really a solution for anything. Uh, isotretinoin interferons interferons um, are used for like hepatitis and uh, th they can cause significant depression um, methadone uh, methyl dopa uh, ADHD drugs can affect mood um, which would include depression uh, and some other drugs procainamide reserpine varenicline uh, so sometimes depression can be related to the drugs. So if you're on a lot of drugs, it's possible there's correlation there. Uh, as far as side effects, uh, sertraline is very well tolerated. Um, compared to placebo, uh, nausea was worse, diarrhea, dry mouth. Um, some people experience some fatigue, but it's not super... Um, common and sertraline is one of the drugs that uh, it's really not as bad as others. Um, if uh, if you're easily tired on sertraline, um, maybe Prozac would be better. Prozac is a drug that causes activation. Um, uh, there's something called uh, akathisia, which is a restlessness, a feeling that you need to move around. Uh, you want to pace around. Um, you don't want to sit still. That can that can be a result of sertraline. And um, it, it could even lead to something called restless leg syndrome. So if restless leg syndrome is new after starting sertraline, it could be related. Um, and a big one is libido. Um, well, depression can affect libido um, and an antidepressant can make that worse. So that is a big issue, especially for younger people. Um, uh, you know, here, if you look at ejaculation failures, 8% versus 1% on placebo, erectile dysfunction, 4% versus 1%, ejaculation disorder, 3%. But really, um, it's probably even, after after taking it, it's probably, probably even worse than that. And um, libido can be decreased in both men and women, but uh, it is worse in men. A headache is, is possible. There are a couple of drug, drug interactions. Um, sertraline can interact with um, some anticoagulants like warfarin. Um, and there's a really uh, dangerous one uh, called monoamine oxidase inhibitors. These are older antidepressants. Uh, it, you know, out in the community, really not very many people take monoamine oxidase inhibitors. But it is, uh, there's still there are people that take it and if you take monoamine oxidase inhibitors with sertraline, you could have a fatal reaction. Um, there's also an antibiotic called linazolid that uh, is a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. It, it's, an, it's also an antibiotic and it was used, it was kind of studied um, for its antidepressant effect and they found to have anti antibiotic properties. So um, that's another one. And uh, in older people, uh, with the akathisias and stuff, it could cause an increased risk of, of falls. Um, 
Uh, in search lane, there's a, a black box warning for increased risk of suicidal thoughts and actions in, in young people, and that was seen in the clinical trial as well. And so that is a risk. But in general, uh, sertraline is very well tolerated for most people. Um, side effects aren't as bad, obviously. I think the, the most common complaint is the sexual side effects. Um, so uh, drugs that don't really have that are like uh, bupropion is one, and I think um, buspirone, but they have other issues. And um, if you're interested about those drugs, I can make a video about that. Just leave a comment. Um, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll make a video. So I hope you all found this interesting. Um, please subscribe, that would be awesome. Please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, leave them in the comments section. I wanna thank you guys for watching. It's an honor if you made it this far. Definitely subscribe, that would be very cool. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.